I wonder if I could talk Kara into let me buy this. I'm sure if we sold our house, our truck, our trailer, our side-by-side, -side, our car, they might give us enough for a down payment. What a beautiful boat, though. Triple outboards. Holy crap. That thing would scoot down the water. I can't even imagine what it'd be like to ride in that. It is Friday morning. Great night last night. It is so nice to be able to wake up and you are right here at the lake. So what are we gonna do? We are going down and claiming a kayak for the day. Yeah. We're gonna try and do a slot canyon right here close and just get on the lake and see it. One of the great things with staying here at Antelope is you can just walk right down to the dock. You don't have to get in your truck and drive or your car and drive down, you're, you're here. So let's see how this kayak rental goes. And then we're gonna paddle over and do Antelope Canyon. Never done that before. Usually when we're out on the lake, we're in the boat or staying in the houseboat down on the lake somewhere. So this is a little bit different. Got our kayaks rented. Price wasn't too bad. We were kind of hoping that we could take them over to the other launch ramp and save ourselves a few miles of paddling, but can't. So I guess we'll just get our workout today. It is crazy how low this water is. If you can see that over there, usually the marina's clear up on that cliff side. And now it's almost touching the other cliff. Don't tip over. Are you ready? Uh, no, not ready at all? Uh, Do you know where we're going to? I think we're going up there. Antelope Canyon, yep. Kara's still out there floating, waiting. Made it to Antelope Canyon. Just about a mile paddle, I think. Just waiting on Kara and the rest to get here. So cool. It is a very different way to see the lake. thinking we probably need to be close to the end because it was starting to build up the sludge or the debris. Are we live? Yeah, we're, we're live. <laughs> After our paddle, we don't know how long it took us or how far we went. Um, we are now at the mouth of the canyon where the lake meets. So I don't know how far up we can hike, but it's supposed to get into a pretty narrow slot, so that'll be awesome. Getting a little narrow, Natalie. Yep. Water bottle number two is going. <laughs> Nailed it! Hold on. Hold on. <laughs>
Is it cold? It is cold. <laughs> it is quite cold. <laughs> What do you think, Kara? <laughs> it's good. I like that it's getting narrow and twisty, and that's the fun part of it. Yeah, this hasn't been that long of a hike to get to this point. No, no, not at all. And we're gonna run out of time, so we can't finish the whole thing, but at least we're able to get us to see a big portion of it. Here's a real tight section. Well, we'd like to keep going, but it's probably that turnaround point. That way we can get on the kayaks and get paddling back. That way we can get it back in time. We have to get the kayak back by four o'clock. So one of those things. Tally ho, downhill now. It didn't fill uphill? It was, we're past, we're way above the high water mark now. Yeah. Just finished up with our paddle and it was a good time when we read the kayaks they said they didn't have two man kayaks except they have this giant stack of them right here it kind of pisses you off when they say they don't have it and then they have a giant stack of them and they were there when we rented ours it would have been much nicer to paddle along with Kara that way she didn't have to do the whole thing by herself but, oh well it was a good time Antelope Canyon was awesome now time to make our way back up to the RV park and to sit and have dinner. Have a Coke and have some dinner. Should be good. Back to the trailer. Got dinner going. A little Weber. Whenever we have the Nortons with us, we always do broths. They are cooking up nicely. But we cannot get over how nice the spot is. Great sunset today. Lake Powell just never disappoints. <laughs> 